Hey folks, this is the video that I promised you a little bit earlier. First of all, I want to tell you that I am fully prepared uh, to lose around three or four subscribers right now. I believe that's what it will uh, happen. And I'm doing this because I care. I care about my fellow man here who have been man and woman here in the United States and globally for that matter, but especially here in the United States. And what we have here is we have people who have become reduced to uh, not even babbling idiots, but zombies. And I'm gonna tell you why this is happening. Folks, it is very unfair with what's happening right now. And I'm gonna explain it to you. And this may be a long video. I give you that in advance, but I feel that this is important for people to know. Um, and again, I'm going to get a lot of people mad at me right now, but we we have to cover this, okay? Because it all goes with the turf. Uh, this is Alaska Prepper. Now, I did not understand what this was all about with him. I didn't understand, but... Um, I want to show you something, and uh, it's this particular video right here from last night, which is so disturbing, which is only fleeting. But even though it was fleeting just a couple of seconds, it showed what this is all about. This is where you people are not gods. I'm a god, and you're not gods. You're not capable of this. Now, that's why you stay here at this channel, because it's impossible to navigate this landscape of landmines, folks. It is impossible. If you are not a literal God, you are going to be sucked into garbage. And that's what this is right here. It's filth. And I'm going to show you. And a lot of people aren't going to like this, like I told you. Um, yes, I know the man has done some good. I know that. I know the man has done some good, obviously. But um, a lot of people have, have done a good. But we have to talk about what really matters. And what really matters is, did you try to stop the scam? And the scam fix. Did you promote and promulgate the scam? Because when the blade comes and people are sick in a lot of big numbers, people are sick and they find out that they're going to have to believe like a fuck dildo like me. How in the world are these people going to be able to handle it when they find out that they weren't even as smart as me and they see me as very, very stupid folks. And very dangerous and very awful and very crude. Now, I'm going to show you this again. Like I told you, this is not going to be a quick video. Let's go ahead and click on this, okay? And uh, first of all, uh, the, uh, I guess he has uh, over 200,000 subscribers, which is very hard. It is not easy to have 100,000 subscribers, folks. It's just not. Believe me when I tell you. Uh, now, I'm going to read you what his mission statement is. It says, and this is right off his page, okay? The Alaskan Prep, this is a description of his channel. The Alaskan Prepper tries to empower the average person to be awakened to the need of preparing for anything. The main point is to provide viewers with content that showcases the reality that prepping can be done on any budget. It also attempts to provide entertaining facts that are derived from news articles and opinionated ideas. Thank you for joining me on this adventure of reaching, teaching, and repeating the cycle until everyone is awake. Many blessings to your families. Now, um, this would seem like uh, he's just a, a wonderful uh, fellow. Unfortunately, I think this channel right here um, is either funded or helped along by 
uh, the people that are not your friends. And I'm going to tell you why. I've listened to this man, and I will tell you right now that even as I was naive, I listened to him, and I am sorry to tell you that whenever I listen to him, it sounds like it's scripted. I, and I'm sorry, folks. I know that that's conspiratorial. But when you read something, you're supposed to be natural. Uh, like, if, And he has a tendency um, to say A instead of A. Uh. And that usually comes from when you're reading a script. Either that or he has some funny mannerism about him. But I think that this is being scripted for him. I think he is being controlled. That's my feeling on it. And I'm going to show you why I believe this. Okay. Now, I want to show you the videos. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go back. And I, again, like I told you, I can't make this. I can't make this into a 10 minute video. This is important. And there's a reason why I'm showing you this. And I'm not trying to hurt Alaska Prepper. I'm trying to educate you people and make you realize how much of a wipeout it is for you zombies. You will never pick up on this or anything else. So now that you have a God leading you, if you subscribe to this channel, you are going to know about it. Maybe there's some other people that would also tell you about it, but I have not seen them. Okay. Uh, I've not seen them. They all get tied up in the money. Now let's keep going back here and I'm going to show you the videos. Okay. Now I'm going to take you back to three years, three years what would be the situation three years ago? Three years ago would put us directly into peak scam, okay? Uh, in other words, uh, we would be right on the verge of getting a miracle, or there would have been a miracle at that time, okay? So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you this, and there's a reason why I'm doing this, and again, uh, it's going to be a long video, but if you're smart, you will start to worship me as a God, and I will never turn you away, folks. I will never turn you away. And I don't ask you to believe me any higher than the God you believe in now or the deities that you believe in now. If you believe that cows are gods, then don't believe in me any higher than you believe in the cows that are your God or the rats that are your gods or monkeys that are your gods or Christ or Vishnu, or whatever it is. You don't have to believe in me any more than them. That's the thing that makes it so beautiful for you people. That just shows how much of a beautiful God I am. Do you understand? So let's continue here. I'm back now to 11 months. And um, it, uh, it drops off here after about another, uh, okay, we're still at one year. Uh, we're still at one year. We're still at one year. He puts out a lot of videos. And um, let's, uh, let's, uh, one year. It's still at one year. Well, we all know the economy. Still one year. Hang on. We're going to get back to two years. So I can show you this so you know what I'm talking about. So you don't think that I'm making something up. Okay? And it's going to be hard for me to show you this because I have to scroll and let you see this. Okay? Now, um, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because of what this appears to be and what it really is. There's a big difference. You are tragically mistaken if you believe um, uh, what this, what you think this man is. And I'm sorry about this because I know that he's beloved by many, many people. But um, let's just keep showing you this now. Okay. Now, this is going back two years. Uh, I'm going to take you back even deeper into two years, okay? Uh, three years would be acceptable because it's right there at scam, okay? It's right at the uh, scam. So I'm going to have to do it because I don't want you people to think that you're not listening to a God. In other words, if I was just fake, I would tell you something and you'd have to believe it without evidence. But since I'm a God, I can explain this to you, okay? Okay. And all I have to do 
is get to the thing here, okay? Now, this is going back three years, all right? Now, I'm going to show you this, and I want you folks to see it. Now, my subs are probably going to catch this, okay? Now, I want you to look at his videos, okay? Um, take a look at them. This is from three years ago. Uh, what do you notice? We're going to keep going here, okay? What do you notice? What do you notice? Um, he's big into, um, you know, prepping and, uh, you know, um, self-sustenance, right? I, do you see this? Let's see. Uh, for snowstorm, stock up for food shortages. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, um, he does product reviews. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just keep on showing you this, okay? I just keep on showing you this. So that I make a point with this, okay? We'll go back uh, to, uh, um, okay, now, this is the reason why I'm making this video. The Alaska, the Alaska Prepper is a professional, in my opinion, he is a professional distractor of misdirection. That's what this is all about. And I didn't realize that until last night. Because I did this and I spent an awful lot of time looking at his uh, video content, okay? Now, right here, you can see Claus, whatever his name is there. Um, it, and it says, the plan to have a two-tier system, one of the wealthy and one of the poor. Are you prepared? Okay? So he's warning you about uh, Claus, whatever this guy's name is from... From uh, the New World Order, okay. Uh, there's the most, um, there's the most serious thing right there. I did not catch that yesterday. I did not catch that, but that's about as close as it gets, right there. And that was deep into scam, okay. Now I haven't seen this video, but I don't think there's going to be anything remarkable. Um, it says here, 82% of Americans can't afford $500 emergency. Um, let's see. Um, feeding those in need. Donating to uh, food banks, which is admirable, of course. Uh, stocks are getting ready to go to the moon. Uh, never run out of flour again. Uh, breaking POTUS in a sudden reversal signed stimulus bill. But who benefits? Uh, it continues to go on here. And I want you folks to understand what it is. Do you see? Have you figured this out yet? See, my subs are pretty smart. They probably understand what I'm saying here. They know. You don't because you're fuck zombies. Now, we're going to keep on with this. Okay? Let's see. Um, continues to... Um, uh, okay, uh, interview with a gold and silver guy. Um, you should be prepared. Texas needs our help. Um, all this goes on and on and on. On and on and on. And I'm trying to see if there's any warning videos that he gives you. Because he likes to give you warning videos. Warning. You can see the planet there. Let's hear what his warning is. Warning, March 2021. Now, this was deep in the scam, okay? U.S. Intel reports warning of worldwide catastrophic shocks that will last decades. Why? Well, we know why. We'll continue on. That's about as risque as it gets. We'll continue on. I don't want you to think that um, I'm, I'm keeping anything away from you. But there was a warning for him, from him. And we're going to look uh, again to see if there's any warnings that he's giving us. Um, let's uh, keep going. Okay. Our enemies now understand exactly how to paralyze America. So he's giving you a warning on there. Let's keep going. We are now down to two years ago. And again, I, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm hiding something here. Take a look. Take a look. What is this one? Um, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I'm just looking. 
uh, you know, more thing about how to, you know, survival food, uh, get ready for the price of oil to more than double. Um, uh, all this with the, the food business, you know, whatever it is. Let's see him here. There is nothing anyone can do to stop what is coming. So prepare as much as you can. Don't wait. Okay. Uh, this is back two years now. Um, let's see. Um, a dire warning from France. Tyranny, food shortages, trucker strikes, hospital and airport shut down. Okay, so he's trying to give you warnings here, evidently. Here's another one here from two years ago that says you were warned. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right here. You were warned. Um, right. Uh, so he's probably telling you. Uh, let's see what he says here. I'm looking to see if there's any anything. Um, uh, scammer alert. The more economic strife, the more scams you will have to watch to protect yourself. So this is a man that wants you, it's a person that wants to give you warnings, um, you know, how not to get ripped off on internet, et cetera, et cetera. Now we're down to a year ago. Okay, take a look and see if I'm uh, getting this, uh, if, if you're understanding what this is. Now my subs already understand what I've done. The fuck zombies don't. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Now, if he was just telling us about how to uh, prepare for emergencies uh, by, by uh, you know, preparing food and, you know, freeze drying or whatever it is, that would be one thing. But this man goes a little further. Here's another one that says millions will perish. Um he goes a little bit more than a country mile uh, to start getting into things that um, he wants to warn you about. And I'm showing you this now. It is um, more, you know, uh, feed the, the food banks for people, which is fine. You know, that's uh, nice. Um, okay. You know, how not to freeze to death if the power's turned off, you know, stock up now. How much lantern fuel do you need? Uh, do you folks see what this is? Do you understand? Okay. Now, why is he doing this? Um, why is he doing this? Uh, because he cares about us so much, evidently. Right? He cares about his subscribers and us so much. He wants to give us warnings and make sure that we're uh, on the, on the uh, edge of the envelope, that we know everything, right? I know, folks, this is 18 minutes already. Now, let's go ahead. And like I told you, you're just going to see the same thing. Okay? Now, what is it that we've seen? What is it that we've seen? We've seen a plethora of warnings and uh, some warnings about uh, New World Order and this. And occasionally he comes out and warns us about uh, the global, the globalists and things like that, right? But let's take a look and find out what this is. Uh, okay, uh, more garbage here. Walk and talk video turned scary. I was being stalked by a Sasquatch. Okay, we'll skip that. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Martin Armstrong, prepare now for the chaos that's coming to America. That's one year ago. Um uh, that he's telling us that uh, must have preps that that will be in high demand when China and the U.S. enter into a Cold War. Uh, well, yeah, but you have to understand, uh, you know, we do business with each other. It's going to be hard getting into a Cold War. With Russia, it was. We did not get a great deal of uh, commerce with Russia. And again, uh, they've got rubber band powered aircraft carriers. They're not going to be doing any uh, amphibious assaults on Taiwan, folks. You understand? Um, six reasons why the world is going to go into um, uh, uh, turmoil. More evidence that dreadful winters ahead. Are you prepared? What do we not see here? What is suspiciously absent? Any talk of scam. That's right. My subs knew this when I put this video out. So 
He is completely tight-lipped about scam. Now, you would think that a person who's trying to help you and, and, <clears throat> and giving you all these warnings and telling you about the new world order or whatever it is or the whatever it is and Klaus Schwab and all this other kind of stuff, you would think that he'd be trying to wake you up to certain things. Um, experts warn that thousands will die, millions will suffer this winter. Um, let's see. Uh, it just continues on with grow food, um, uh, inflation. Um, again, this is from 11 months ago. Prepare for starvation. Uh, the end, a currency is going to zero. Okay. Uh, you may not want to believe any of this. You may not want to believe any of this. So he's trying um, to uh, give some sort of um, warning or some kind of beneficial information to the people that subscribe to him and people that come and view him. Now, what have I figured out by this? I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you to the newest video and not the newest one because uh, the newest one, I don't know what's on that one, but the one from two days ago, uh, the yesterday. Okay, not state control. Now, he's warning you about this. New energy bill risk jail time for not complying with net zero regulations. Now, what he's not telling you is why this is coming. Why? And I will tell you because, and, and it's not, a, it's not debatable. In my opinion, it's not a, remember, I'm not, I'm a God, not a fuck zombie like you. When I tell you something, you know, it's coming from a God. Okay. I'm not Chris Green. I do not uh, talk to God and then have God talk to me and give me messages. I am God. Do you understand folks? So let's go ahead and let me take you to this right here. And this was yesterday. Uh, what's next? Okay. And a very small portion of this lets you know what the game is with this huckster. Okay. And I'm sorry to say that because he has helped certain people, including people that subscribe to me. And this is going to be very difficult for them to watch. We have to be very, very careful because this is being presented to us in such a slick manner that you people don't even have a chance. And basically, I don't either. I try my best and I catch many things, but not all things. So I'm trying to give you the benefit and the wisdom of, of my um, looking at the news every single day. So let's take a look. The most important video I've ever done. Okay, well, a large or a what will business, this uh, be? The most important video. 2005 to 2010, they're going through a timeline of their history, of the C40 city's history, right? 2005, C40 is founded. Isn't that something? C40 is a playbook directly out of the UN's SDG, Sustainable Development. Right, SDG, ESG whatever it is, SDG. Tool that globalists and governments would use. And he's right. Companies into the stakeholder capitalist model. And what is it's this? A kind of social credit system. Social credit system, uh, world government. He's absolutely right. But what is this? It's a distraction. It's a misdirection. He's taking you away. He's probably funded by, I'm sorry to say this, either the government or from the uh, DCD. Because his job is to keep you from discovering what the real problem is. And it is very, this is a very, very slick production. It can't fool me because I'm a god, but it can fool everyone else. And it can't fool my subscribers uh, maybe it can a little bit, but once they hear what I have to say, they're not going to be fooled as quickly. I'll put it to you that way. So let me take you to the part which um, is important, okay? Let's go to the part that's important. Uh, sorry, folks. Um, in order to diversify or insulate your wealth, I'm going to put this on pause because I have to find it.
All right, what folks. she's talking about is lowering the standard of living of the first world nations at the same time that they're raising the standard of living of third world countries, making the world more equitable. See? Equality. That's what she's talking about. But Misdirection. How do they go about achieving that? Well, it's called a transfer of wealth. This health crisis that we just went through the last couple of years, I guess you can say. Th Did you hear it? Now, how do you know that this man is a true believer in the scam? How do you know? Well, you heard it with your own two ears here. Again, this is only a tiny couple of seconds and it shows. And uh, what the thing is, and either on this video uh, and maybe later on in this video, he's talking about all of the death. And it may be a video previous to this that I caught him. And he's talking about all the death that occurred over the last three years from scam. And what does he do? He calls it the health crisis. He doesn't call it by its real name. Its real name is scam. And you never, ever refer to this as anything other than a scam. Now, he's trying and he's, this is where you people are sucked in and misdirected and it gets you from the nut. You understand? The, 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 the prime food element, the nut, it keeps you away and misdirects you. And I will show you after this, I will show you Redacted because Redacted does the same exact thing. So most people, in fact, nobody's going to catch this. You have to be a god in order to be able to catch this. So let's listen to this again. Just these couple of seconds. Now, if why doesn't he call it a scam? He says that it was a big transfer of wealth, right? That's what he says. He says it was a, a big transfer of wealth. Really? Is it a scam? Well, he can't say that. Why? Because the powers that be that are helping this channel along have a, you know, like when I used to work uh, selling things over the phone in 1981 and 1982, uh, that was big back then, and they'd offer you a you you'd sell them a bunch of pens, two hundred pens with their with, with their business uh, description on the pen. They'd print it up, and then they'd give you a prize, and the and they gave you like four or five prizes, and there was always one dud prize, and that's the one you'd always get. And the problem was is that it was very easy uh, for this company to be arrested for fraudulent claims, fraudulent. Uh, business practices. So they had lawyers that drew up these exact words that you were not allowed to um, uh, uh, go off. You were, you had to keep these and, and it had it. So if somebody said, how do I know I'm going to get a really great prize? You would not tell them and guarantee them that they got a, that they were going to get a microwave oven. You couldn't say that to them. What you had to say is, you have to say to them, ma'am, let's say you just got the microwave oven. That microwave has a retail value of around $450. Now, for a simple investment of $250 for 300 personal pens, don't you think that's a good deal? Now, that's not fraudulent because you are only insinuating that the microwave oven is the cheapest. That's an insinuation that the microwave would be the cheapest a prize among the bunch. In fact, it wasn't. And what you got is a bunch of coupons to some defunct, uh, now de long defunct store uh, that would probably cost you three times as much to buy shit from there anyway. And the lawyers wrote these up. And that's exactly what I believe that the Alaska prepper is doing. He's taking his dictation from very, very smart people. And I tell you honestly, folks, the way he says his A, instead of saying a good generator, it is a good generator. It sounds like he's being scripted. 
I'm sorry to say that you may differ with me. You may think differently, but that's exactly what they're doing here. And I'm going to show you, he's now talking about um, the, the UN and how they have a plan to tax the first world nations, the first world countries to bring up the third world countries. That's exactly what they, that's exactly right. But it's a misdirection because there's nothing you can do about it. He's right about that, but he's keeping you from learning about the scam. And the scam is the only thing that you should be talking about because they're going to bring the scam back. And I showed you his videos. It is remarkably uh, quiet about any scam or anything having to do with scam over the last three years. There's not one video, but yet he loves you so much that he wants to tell you all about the UN and globalism and this and that. Folks, it's a complete misdirection. And he's sticking to a script, just like I said, a script. A script, he's sticking to a script. When you talk naturally, that's how you say it. You don't say, he's sticking to a script. And he does that shit all the time. He must be on script. So let's listen to this and see what he's saying one more time. Exactly what that was. That was probably, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think that I am, the greatest transfer of wealth that has occurred in our history, in the history of this nation. Sorry, folks. And the greatest... Sorry. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Council for Inclusive Capitalism. Now, doesn't that sound great, ladies and gentlemen? It's talking about the the, this, this um, new agenda Please to try to get uh, poor countries put up with us. Is good. And I'm going to try to bring you... Uh, okay, um, here it is. Go forward and pass a law with a great... You hear it? Like pass a law. Looks like he's being scripted to me. Probably one of the worst laws ever passed and one of the laws that restricted us from our liberties the most than any other laws before it. But I digress. How about There's scamming? A video here that I would like to go over with you all, maybe about halfway through or so. And then, of course, you can use the link to this article to watch the whole video yourself. The entire thing is only about six minutes, but we'll just get through about half of it or so because it's very telling as to what it is that they're trying to do, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and play it. And this is the Pope talking about how there should be a mandatory tax. Uh, uh, globally, on countries. Let's see if I can get this through, folks. This nation. Okay, and here we go. And allow individuals to realize their full potential. Sorry, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to listen to the words. You have to read or listen in between the lines. What she's talking about right there is making first world countries like the U.S., like the Western nations, poorer so that third world countries can become richer. In other words, what she's talking about is lowering the standard of living of the first world nations at the same time that they're raising the standard of living of third world countries, making the world more equitable. See? Equality. That's what she's talking about. But how do they go about achieving that? Well, it's called a transfer of wealth. This health crisis that we just went through the last couple of years, I guess you can say, or three years, that's exactly what that was. That was probably, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think that I am, the greatest transfer of wealth that has occurred in our history, in the history of this nation, and the greatest transfer of wealth that will occur hasn't even happened yet, but it's coming. What's he doing? He's getting you remarkably close to the nut. Do you understand? And then takes the smartest people and gets you off. So instead of talking about scam 
and what the scam is and isn't. He takes you off into wealth transfer, a transfer of wealth. How? Well, uh, there were companies that were responsible for certain things that made record profits. Does he tell you about that? No. Why? Because he's on a very tight, serious script that's been put forth to him. Folks, this gentleman is, and I'll use that term loosely, he is a puppet for some very bad people. That's my opinion. He is a puppet and a dupe and a convenient idiot and a demonic presence. His job is to take you away from learning about scam and getting you almost onto it. Just a transfer of wealth and then taking you out. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I had to show you this so that you would be able to see this. And Redacted does the same exact thing. And I'm going to take you there right now to show you an example of that too. Okay? So stand by and I'll take you there too. Reauthorization on December 11th. Up, uh, in December up through February 2021. So redacted, like why is this part redacted? John Campbell has a question about it too. Associated adverse events and relate that to the number of vaccines given. But this is... Who is John Campbell? Let's go and take a look at John Campbell. Now, they're wheeling him out right here as a great champion because he has questions. Folks, I'm going to show you. He pushed the scam. He pushed this. He pushed it right to the edge of the envelope. He says that he took this. I don't believe him. Uh, but he says, oh dear my, uh, he wouldn't have done this had he known that a uh, oh, good mother of Christ or whatever it is uh, that he came out with, um, it, all the information that he's now discovering just recently here, uh, uh, he, he, he's sorry that he did something. And uh, uh, Redacted brought that out too. They said that he was pissed like a, Brit, a British gentleman should be pissed. He wasn't pissed at all. He tried to force it, in my opinion, down your throat. So let's go take a look at this. And let's find out what this was, shall we? Let's look at uh, Mr... Uh, uh, okay, uh, Jonathan Campbell, let's have a look, shall we? Let's find out what this is all about. And here he is right here. I refuse to subscribe to him because he is another demonic uh, presence. Uh, this is a demon. And he was uh, manipulating and uh, trying to get everybody to do uh, what uh, they were telling him. Another dupe here, puppet. And uh, now he says that he's very upset that he did this. Um, if he would have known the figures. Uh, here he's talking about uh, serious adverse effects. Uh, uh, sad F SX deaths. And what this... Uh, cocksucker is doing. He's knitting himself a golden parachute. That's what he's doing. So why don't we, I'll put it on pause. Why don't we take a look at two and a half years ago, shall we? With Mr. Jonathan Campbell and we'll find out he, what he was doing. Okay. Stand by. Okay. Uh, he's talking about genetics and uh, scam deaths. He's talking about U.S. new Omicron uh, something one year ago, he's talking about um, highest deaths since 1929. He's talking about U.S. long scam, okay, uh, cases. And um, he's talking about good news here that uh, uh, something uh, here is uh, milder than um, Xbox or whatever it is. Uh, he's talking about one million people perishing. Um, he's saying that uh, scam cases are down, uh, but uh, there are long scam concerns. And now that's only one year ago, folks. That's 2022, long after the introduction of the scam. Now let's go 
and let's uh, look back two years. This is what you have to look at. And uh, look, the guy Clayton Morris or whatever his name is, he's a self-admitted alcoholic. He is part of the mainstream media, whether you like it or not. His wife is a dumb fucking leftist cunt. And she always will be. And she's just a functioning fucking leftist being trying to be guided by a leftist uh, who, who's trying to make uh, people on the right become leftists. Um, here we go. Let's keep going. Uh, China uh, uh, zero scam policy. Uh, freedom of information discussion. This is one year ago. We've got to uh, keep going back because um, I still had my channel back then. Sorry, folks. I've got to get back to two years. Okay. Uh, long scam after this. Um, th these third doses required. Can you see this? Right here. Uh, folks, do you understand this? Uh, these and sperm counts, long scam in children. Uh, Florida and Texas worst. Um, uh, U.S. scam cases go up. Um, this is two years ago. Um, important long scam information. Uh, Independence Day and long scam, folks. It's impossible to teach zombies anything. But I will tell you what I'm proud of. I'm proud of the fact that we have 55 people here that know that I look at the news and I'm not a fuck zombie like the rest of this fucking garbage. When you tell me something, I want you to present the facts. And if you come out and you give me data, I'm going to double check that data and I'm going to ask every question that's pertinent to it. And you better have a goddamn good answer for me because if you give me some kind of bullshit like they're giving now... And what they have been giving, we couldn't even get a straight answer on this. That's the God's honest truth. We couldn't do any investigation. And now I just saw that X, which is the new Twitter. If you go on Twitter and you punch in scam, uh, it refuses to take you to anything. Except it takes you to the DCD. You understand? They don't want any discussion about this. Folks, it's clear. It's clear that they are misdirecting and doing all sorts of bad, bad things, folks, and making it so that there is only one source and not giving you any chance. Folks, if you haven't figured this out by now, you really are a fuck zombie. If you fuck at all, maybe you don't fuck, then you're just a zombie. Folks, I know we went long on this. This is 44 minutes. This is probably the most important video that I've ever done because it tries to wake you up. And there are so many examples on Redacted that I, I, I can't even get into them. Okay. It's their leftists. I, I could give you, I can't share with you the knowledge that I've attained from listening carefully to all these things. You haven't. I have. That's why I believe the way I do. That's why I tell you. You understand? And now, if you look at Dr. Jonathan Campbell, you go ahead and look at him, and now everything is reversed. You understand? Uh, higher than normal deaths, this and that and the other thing. Oh my goodness, we're only getting one information from one source. Uh, all of this, making a golden parachute. Let me tell you something, Mr. Campbell. When the blade comes, you will be there. When the blade comes. Because the blade is coming. When the people, I know the people are fuck zombies. They don't care. They can make more children. They're fuck zombies. But when they find out that their child may be sick 
from something that was forced upon them by very, very questionable information that they're giving us, you may find out that even though these people are fuck zombies and they can fuck to make more little zombies, they might not want their little baby zombie uh, perishing or getting sick. And that's when the blade will come out. Do you understand? Also, this thing right here, that will come out too. Folks, it happened in Nuremberg. If you weren't for a gentleman with a little mustache, folks, they put you into concentration camps for sedition and defeatism. That's what happened, folks. And it was unthinkable to think any other way. The people were doing this constantly. It was all over. You were considered sick in your head. This is no different. This is no different. A bunch of fuck zombies who are following just like this right here. Just like this. Go look it up for yourself. It was all considered very practical and normal until it wasn't. And then we had Nuremberg. And then we had a lot of uh, people that were hanged for what they thought was making perfect sense. Folks, take care. I know this is a long video, but this clears my conscience because I told you everything that I have to tell you to make you understand this as much as I can for a man in my position, okay? God bless you. Take care. I know people will get very upset with this, with the Alaskan dupe, with the uh, Alaskan um, duper. So sorry about that, folks, but it's the way it is. You look at it for yourself. Bye.